What's poppin' is Enzo McFly. It's your girl, your car keys, I am. She what it do, man. This your boy, E.S.G. What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Angry Hero. It's your boy, Mikey Iso. What's up? It's your girl, Desiree Simone. And we K22 Radio, man. I know what's going down. The biggest blood in America. Hey, man, you already know who it is. DJ Me What's going on, man? It's comedian Jeff Shelley. What's good, word? Show me DJ Chosen. Say, man, it's Wapping Puerto Rico, man. Ah, baby boy. Baby girl. It's your girl, Beats Simone, and we catch. What's up, Houston? It's your boy, Quay. I just wrapped a dope ass interview with Catch 22. What's up? It's your girl, by X Breezy. And Todd over at Barrett Studios. We're at 92 Kills right now with Catch 22. Make sure you come check us out this Saturday, January 5th, at Houston Underground for HTX Indie Fest 5. You're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 Radio Show on 92kills.com. I don't know this song. You don't know this song. We still not on. Go. He's oh, on the oh. instrumental. I don't know this song. We don't count down for nothing here. I don't know. I had to come back and count down because you clearly don't know how to count. Uh, they right. for me a school two, district. A. Uno. <laughs> Yo, Drew is in red <laughs> Yo, y'all behave. We got a guess. Two guests. Two uh, guests. One of them is not a guest. That's She's right. family. That's why I said eight guests. Okay, eight guests. One. Uh, eight guests. And then we got family in the bit. Oh, sorry. Um, anyway, we got a special guest in the building. Two special guests. They're here to talk about the HTX Indie Fest that's going down January 5th in yeah, Houston, man. Texas. You already know what it is. By Breezy. Yeah. What up, yo? Can y'all hear me? Yeah. yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. All right, what up, though? And from the legendary Baron Studios. That's where I recorded all my mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? Yo. I done had a lot of mixtapes recorded there. What's up, Doc? What's up, everybody? What's poppin'? <laughs> We're excited to have y'all here. I like your hat. It's a cat. It's a cat. It's creepy. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> hey, what, kind of, what kind of hat is that? A cool cat. I got it for Christmas. Jesus. I don't even know. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I want somebody that gave me a cool cat hat. <laughs> so what's going on, y'all? Man, man, just out here working, staying busy, you know, trying to put on some way for the city, the underground. Yeah. That's lit. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about HCX Indie, Indie Fest. Okay. Because how many has this been? I know y'all have had a couple before. It's five. It's the, yep. it's the fifth, fifth year. One. Fifth annual. Yeah. Wow. And what, what type of artists have y'all had previously on it? Um, okay. Let me look at like, I'm trying to visualize <laughs> like the show on the flyer. Amani Scott, we had Don Tolliver, Young Josh, Toby. Yeah. Um, we've had Phenomena the Poet. Slight team. Um, the list goes on, man. So y'all got a, a lot of Y'all got a deep, deep follow, like Toby and Don, which are two huge artists out of the city right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. So y'all are really moving. So basically, if you're trying to make some moves, you need to be at the HTX Indie Fest. Yeah, man. <laughs> you never know there. who's going to so, make yeah. it off that stage. So anybody can come perform, or how does this work? Well, okay. So the main stage is basically like people who I worked with over the years, or over the year mostly, in their studios, who they work with at the studio. And we come together and we put, you know, we'll say who we think would be good on the main stage. And then we know it's a big event, so we provide uh, two stages, which is the main stage and the open mic. So the open mic, anybody can perform on. That's dope. That's dope. And so, dope. And That's so the dope. idea on that is, is that y'all can come out and do the open mic this year, perfect your craft, do it, uh-huh. and then put your grind in. And right. next year, you should be on that main stage. And then the year after that, you can pop. And we've seen people do this. Like, if they put guys on the main stage this year, they were literally just on that open mic stage last year. That's so dope. it's open for everybody. Amazing. Come out, see where you're going, see where you are, and, and do the work. That's dope. Who all on the main stage this year? We got Trilly. Trilly Polk? Trilly Polk. Oh, Polk. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should have said his last name. Well, not the last <laughs> name. We got the full name. Uh, we have Imani Scott. We also have Slight mm. Team. Uh, Caleb the Great, Candle Joseph, Phenomena the Poet, Jet, Yvette. You put me on the Yeah, Yvette's dope. Yeah. Um, Jared Smith. You can start naming some more. Give Ty some time. Oh, yeah, we got Leroy, Leroy Cook. We got the Hooligans. We got Wazir. And we got Swilson. Um, I think I said everybody. Yeah. Oh, and Lily. Lily Aviana. 
Anyway, it's going to be a dope lineup. Y'all yeah. still got Ken the Man on it? Yeah. Well, Ken the Man, something came up. And she had scheduling um, conflicts and wasn't uh, able to come through on this oh, one. Okay. Not this time. Yeah. Okay, that's we'll cool. We'll get her next one, though. It'll be next time. Now, yes. what y'all need to do, though, is hit us up on Spotify. There's an HTX Indie Fest 5 playlist on Spotify. It runs about like an hour and a half deep of nothing but these artists so y'all can rock them out and know what they're about before you get there. That's, that's, dope. that's dope. How did y'all end up linking up? Actually, uh, the cypher. Uh, Went way back. 2015? Yeah, 2015. Uh, they had a cypher where they were like, trying, they we did, actually. We had a Guinness World Record for most verses on a single song. Yep. Wow. We recorded it all in one day. 315 verses. <laughs> one song. Wait a minute. Why we did. Did you do that? <laughs> How long? Wait, no, 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 no. First of all, were you going for the Guinness? Yeah, totally. Oh, like, we, set oh, okay. it up. we set it up. So we were like, yo, would it be crazy if we just like opened up all our studios free for an entire day? How many verses can we get in? And so we got a we got a beat, and um, DJ chose donate the beat, and we um, the same beat. <laughs> yeah, same beat. It has to be five same hours. beat. Five hours. Has to be, has the song three. the song ended is five like five and a half hours. So where's the song? Listen to that whole it's song. On, it's on SoundCloud right now. You can find it. The question is, have you ever listened to the whole song? I have. I actually hear that beat right now, and I go like like I get like. PTSD. You can go into like shock because I can't like hear it anymore. So did you engineer the whole thing? No, I didn't, actually didn't engineer at all. I don't engineer. I just I manage Baron Studios. I used to engineer. Oh, okay. Um, but I leave that to the professionals now. So <laughs> we. Um, but yeah, we did 315 verses in one day. Sixteens. Or like some eight were, bars. Some were sixteen. Some were thirty twos. So wow. Why some would people you let the rap pass? 16 <laughs> Hey, look, we need 350 verses. All y'all get is eight, eight bars. bars. <laughs> Give me your so, best eight. I don't think so, they, we knew it was going to be, well, they didn't, we didn't know it was going to be that big. That's yeah, crazy. It was like two, 250 was the previous record, and we jumped it up to 315. And then I think this last year, some guys in Tibet actually beat it. They put something together with like 340. Wow. So They weak. So y'all yeah. going back at it, or what's yeah. up? <sighs> we thinking about it. So, I need to crack 400. so here yeah, we go. We can definitely we can do that. It's my perfect yeah. time. Okay, so y'all do this cipher, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I have a group. Okay? okay. Yeah. The name of this group is Thick and Nasty. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We thick are and Thick and nasty. and nasty, okay? <laughs> Drew, explain who Thick and Nasty is and what we do. All right, so we do a lot of little bit of everything, but what we are really good at is background rapping. So since y'all had like three three hundred and fifteen like verses. Huh? No, 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 no. Let me finish. Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, what we do is, you know, um, like, while they rapping their verse, we rapping our verse. So, while you have 315 verses going, we got 315 verses going just back and forth. It's just going to link really well together. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're not rapping the same word. I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not a hype man. No. I don't know no ad libs. I'm not an ad libber. I'm my own, my own verse. You think that'll work? Are we going to put you, like, how are you going to mix that? Like, you on the left side and them on the right side? Uh-uh, so uh-uh, to uh-uh. Just it's right a mix. On. We want equal. Equal. <laughs> just right <laughs> over each other. <laughs> we want equal. Right over each other. Yeah. Right over each other. Kind of like my bomba. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not just <laughs> Thick and nasty. Yeah. yeah. All right, so. It's going to sound thick and nasty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what, what, what inspired you guys, I guess, to really... I guess cultivate the indie circuit of Houston because a lot of people want to be mainstream, but it seems like you guys have kind of found your niche in being um, in the indie scene, and you break a lot of artists. So, what what made you go that route? I think it's just where we are. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you do you do where you're at. Some people chase the fame and like want to be like I want to be with the guy that's famous. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, like with with us and what we do, there's so much talent and there's so many people with vision and they want to get it out there. Being able to cultivate that and prop them up so they can adequately express that, I don't know, to me that's special. Right. So that's where, I mean, that's where, that's where we're at. I mean, I got nothing against artists that are signed. We work with artists that are signed. But as you mentioned, like, we live here in Houston. We live in the now. Right. So, and that's what we want to be about. Yeah. Right. Who are some I feel. That's what you feel, <laughs> Breezy? He, he said it. He nailed it. <laughs> All right, so right now, you know, y'all broke a lot of artists. If I had to tune in to three artists right now in the city of Houston that's really, like, making moves, who would you name? Like, right like right now? I right mean, now. I mean, the names, I think the names The names that I'm watching most closely are on this stage that are coming up. To be but it's real. more than three names, so you got to give me three names. <laughs> <laughs> that's you hard, though, us, for people yeah. like us. <laughs> All right, so look. It was even hard coming up with this list. Right, oh. so give me a singer and give me two rappers. Oh. 
that are y'all favorites? Go, go breezy. <laughs> Put her on the spot. <laughs> Oh man! And we can't name them. Oh, I have a lot man. of favorites, but as far as who is making the most noise, uh, Slight Team is one of them. Yeah. Um, flip, 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 flip of the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll listen because I've never. Heard. <laughs> you never heard? Yeah, check them out. You gotta come okay. to you. That's they performed. Yeah, we got you guys. When we hosted. That's, so that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I want to. Uh, this is why I'm getting it, so I can listen to these to right. these artists. Yes. Okay, Slight Team. Oh. Oh, right, look, so, this is hard. So on here, because there's some guys I'm super impressed with. One, Trilly Polk. Mm-hmm. Are you familiar with Trilly? Yeah, I know Trilly. Okay, so everyone knows Trilly. That's cool. A guy named Swilson, he's dope. Um, ex-Major League Baseball player and turned rapper. He has a bunch of stuff on ESPN. Um, he's great. He's been just grinding for the last two years. We see him in the studio, like, every week. He's got so much really good content out, and he's doing it, like, the right way. Okay. Yeah. Um, like, you know, working directly with producers. So he's got custom instrumentals, high-quality videos. Um, and it's just good, fun music. Mm-hmm. Um, Candle Joseph, this guy, I've never seen an artist so organized as him. He's got everything put together, his visuals, his look. He's got this really cool flow where it merges like rap and stuff coming over from Africa. Like, it's great. Um, like, check him out. He's dope. Slight Team, we just talked about him. Amazing. Um, I mean, you could just run down this entire Everybody list, Everybody has though. something really, really, but really dope. Dope. Like, yeah. That's dope. That's why I, if I felt like I was singling people out, and I don't really want to do that. But, you know, Slight Team has definitely had a great year. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like in my eyes. So cool. y'all um, y'all be giving away studio time and stuff during the um, performances, and we trying to get in the studio. <laughs> so how can we sign up for, like, a Bye Breezy Baron Studios event? Like, how do you go about doing something like that? Y'all need, to, y'all need to check out Breezy's well, events that yeah. she's doing on the regular. Yeah, okay. pretty much. And then, like, or go to the studio and prove to Bear, not prove, but show Bear Studios that you got what it takes to be on the main stage. Oh, yeah, because we definitely <laughs> got what it takes. I mean, that's nothing. But Breezy, Breezy's concert events, are y'all familiar with hers, uh, what, the put-up shut-ups? Yep. Yeah, the and Force Support Force Night. Support. I got some new ones. Straight Fire is a new one. I was like, I like that name. So, I like it too. <laughs> straight Fire. And I, it's like a cipher and a showcase. That mean you need thick and nasty because we straight fire. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> like real talk. But straight people funny. always ask, like, how do, I get, how do I get noticed? How do I get out there and do this stuff? And the thing is, you get out there and do it. Like, that's right. what you do. You find, yeah. you find a stage. You find a promoter like Breezy. You get on that stage. And you rock that stage. And you support the other artists that are out there as well. It's a network. network. You make those connections. Exactly. You show network. up. You have your people show up. You watch other people. They show up and watch you. And you, elevate, and you elevate each other. So how That's does true. the Houston underground scene um, go further in 2019? Like, how do we expand on what they've already built? Really just supporting each other more. Like, I mean, if you come to a, a, a Houston show, you'll see that. Uh, everybody that's hitting the stage is pretty good. Right. Um, and so it's like, if you see that, it's like come together and try to like build the the buzz that's already buzzing. Like, because it's only so much one person can do. Right. Like that's people. Right. I, I really feel like, and also the leaders could pay attention more. I, I'm sure they know what's going on. The leaders in Houston, just you know, reach out. Right. Right. So do you ever tell somebody that they whack and they shouldn't do this? <laughs> no. no. He laughed. Why not? Why? 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 Everybody Why? not good. I look, don't look, say because well, how you say it? Look, I'll I'm, tell them what I think they should work on. Okay. Yeah. Everything. Look, look, so that's what I'm saying. So look. <laughs> what if I think what if I think like you should like never rap? Like should I say well, no. like, no, you no. should never rap? Because people rap. people grow. You gotta understand, you're only ever seeing grow. someone on on this day today right. and what they're going to be six months from now you don't know hmm. I was in studio with Trilly in his first session like I recorded him the first time he stepped did into the mic did you tell him to stop rapping no did you want to no well no because that's <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to say well yeah, yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but, so look, but you, the thing is you understand that it's a growing when you say, step up to the piano for the first time you suck that's facts you know but you work I at it I still to play but you work at it and you get good <laughs> And that's what, and that's what this is. This isn't anything different. You don't yeah. naturally come out and just start Amazing. rapping, right? You so, work. So when you're becoming a new artist, do you think that they should come try to record at home or come straight to Barron and try to get better, or do you feel like by the time they get to Barron, they should already be a professional at what they're doing? They definitely not. You don't have to be a professional to come to Barron. Yeah. They definitely not. But at the same time, you don't have to come to us to become a professional. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Everybody learns differently. Everybody's path is different. 
So if you got a mic at the house, step up to it. Use yeah. it. If it's at your buddy's house, use it. Every microphone is there. If you're an artist, you should be practicing. Yeah. Mm. How do you Practice get that? How do you, how do you get that ten thousand hours? Mm. You can do it with us, or you can do it at the house. Right. I don't care, but you need to do it. Ten thousand hours. What do you need ten thousand hours for? Cause you got it. You got practice. That ten thousand hours is how many hours you need to be a professional at something. Ooh. Hard, dedicated. Practice. I wonder if I reach ten thousand hours. I didn't even know that. Ten thousand hours with a lot of Hey, we, we low key like. I think we at nine ninety nine. For the next hour, I am a professional. <laughs> <laughs> we almost there. Catch twenty two. <laughs> so where can everybody find y'all on social media? Uh, you can find me at B Y X B R E E Z Y. That's by X Breezy. And that's pretty much every, everywhere. Twitter, Instagram. My Facebook is my real name, but you'll find me. What's your real home. name? <laughs> <laughs> I want to be on your Facebook. What's your real name? Real name? <laughs> My real name is LaBricia, and last name is Patrick. So you'll find me on Facebook, LaBricia, LaBricia Patrick. Patrick. Man, I ain't gonna see no, that. there's a couple yeah. of LaBricia Patricks on Yeah, it is. You, like gotta spell, <laughs> you gotta spell it for us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Y'all find me, though. And then hook up Baron Studios, B-A-R-R-O-N Studios, the IG, Twitter, and then I'm T Masek on everything, T-M-A-C-E-K. Hey. I don't mess with Facebook, so y'all can't even find oh, yeah. me there. He got a Facebook. He just don't want you. He don't want to follow me. Follow the Houston page too. H o u s t o c k t x. And when is this event again? Let's tell them when is the event and where is it? Where is it going to be at? Um, the events at Houston Underground. There, there will be two stages. There will be an outside stage this year. First thing we're doing. First time yeah. we're doing this in an inside stage. Um, we got Topo Chico that will be there. Who is that? What you got to talk about chicken. Top, yeah. Oh, Topo Chico. Oh, I thought you told us to My bad. No, what is Topo Chico? It's a drink. It's a... It's the most delicious bubbly water bubbly in the world. Water. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's water. <laughs> but everybody drink it, though. There, listen, if I'm standing out there from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m., yeah. I don't want no water. I I want want it. Yeah. Is it That's alcoholic not... beverage? Yeah, it's a bubbly it's water. A no, Brian, it's, it's a water. It's mix for a drink. You got to stay hydrated, man. If you're gonna do, if you're gonna do 315 bars, you gotta stay hydrated. Nope, I'm a, I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> I done did 10,000 hours. I did 10,000 on this one. <laughs> but the events uh, this Saturday actually. Yeah. Okay, well we'll be out there. We yeah. gonna be there. Shout we out to y'all some wristbands. Yeah, we, we, we got, got wristbands. We got all y'all yeah. wristbands to get cool. y'all in. It's wristbands. I also got y'all some Bear Studio swag too. Some Styrofoam cups. Some yeah. Shirts. Oh, oh that's yeah. awesome. Oh. Dope, dope, dope. So that oh, means I can dope, book dope. my session today, so I can go. Uh, Spit my bars. Are these the same one the engineers wear so I can just walk in there? Yeah. Yeah. I got styrofoam cup. Yeah, man, oh, hold oh, up. Yo. Hey, it's the... And the event's all Asian, so anybody can come. Cool. Oh, that's the right. event is Asian? No, all, it's all, all Asians. Oh, okay. Because I got keys. Oh, all Asians. We can't All come. Asians. Only we can't Asians. Come. Oh, only Asians? <laughs> only Asians. <laughs> it's all Asians. Something new. <laughs> hey, <laughs> man. Hey, don't mean your event won't be packed in Houston. <laughs> all you got to do is just throw it on that layout. Just oh, go down the hard one. You're good. <laughs> we yeah, going to have a good time. Nah, well, we thank y'all. some vendors, too. My girlfriend just said, talk about the vendors. Shout out my girlfriend. We got some dope vendors that will be there, too. Yeah. Even Montana, Space Era. Space Era collab with Todd. And yeah, Studios. Okay. Yeah, man. Hey, Don't I'm ready. Alrighty, righty, so we're going to go ahead and get into a mix with DJ Anthrax. Shout out to Bob Breezy and Ty for stopping by. Thank y'all man, so, I'm so much. Excited. ATX. Oh, thanks y'all for having us. Yes, ATX Indie H. TX Indie Fest. Make sure they let them know. Slowing down. Uh, yeah, yeah, let them know that we're going to be out there. We're going to be scoping artists. We're going to we we offer interviews and all kind of things for y'all. On the, yeah. on and Gone Fishing. Oh, right Gone Fishing, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's our fun segment. But thank y'all so much for stopping by. We really appreciate y'all. We're about to go ahead and get into a mix with DJ Anthrax, our little buttercup, mm-hmm. lace front beard. Buttercup. Working with the voice of the South, Catch 22 Radio Show on 92kills.com.